dick. Whoa. What'd you do, Joe? I didn't do nothing. You what sure? You? I don't know. I you heard something there, anything right? that goes wrong on the show, we blame Joe. No, I, no, I, that since, was you. since all the equipment's working today, it's got to be Jay or Garby. That could be true. They sneak in, they mess around with the equipment while you're in the garage, and then they blame it on you when we get in here. Okay. Fuck them. You like camera four better. Camera four? Yeah, better lighting. Camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. Well, camera one, camera two. we're trying a new camera for Joe. <laughs> so, yeah, we got uh, two cameras on him tonight. One is a little lighter, one's a little darker. He looks like he's, like, creeping in the shadows. Isn't well, it like the camera well, adds 10 pounds? Maybe people like don't Joe. Don't have, like, four cameras on me? Maybe they so like... you want to see Joe in his pajama <laughs> of the evening, okay? Pajama Joe is wearing his pajama pajamas Joe today. His pajama of the week. Okay. And, and Mario. Mario. We'll, we'll clean your pipes. Definitely not Mario. Just Mario. 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 Why are you squeaking? It's not me. I think it is you. I don't think so. Laura? I don't know. Mm-hmm. You were messing with my mic earlier, so maybe you did something to it. Okay. So... We do have a, a smaller crowd tonight. Garby's out of town. Jay is back in New York. Brad is apparently tied up, and Jason is tied up. All of our regular guests that come in. But we're going to handle it. We're going to knock it out of the park tonight, Joe. Oh, yeah. You brought a Jelly Belly draft that Spoil we're going to try. Surprise. Spoil this. Well, show it up. Show, show what we're doing. It's a Jelly Belly draft. So, the question is, what Jelly Belly flavor? Well, we're gonna we're gonna find out and we're gonna sneak it up on everybody because so, it's uh, question for you is it is it beer flavored jelly beans or is it jelly bean favored beer? Mm hmm. Gross. Well, <laughs> everybody knows I can't drink. I'm I'm on some medication right now, some antibiotics that isn't allowing me to drink. And and he's not as much funny when he's sober. Well, to, that's to be argued, Joe. People like to laugh at my stupidity, so I've always got that with me. Uh, but I do have a surgery coming up in June at some point, so probably a little limited on my drinking. And my 50th birthday is coming up in June, so we're going to have to figure it out. going to have to have some type of little get-together where I can sneak in a drink before my surgery and when I'm not on my antibiotics. So, Joe, what are you what are you eating? Sounds like you're eating a fucking... ASMR candy eating. Yeah, don't do that. That's <laughs> going to scare away all of our... Spotify listeners who are only listening to the show audio quality and they don't give a fuck about the camera angle that you're on. So, uh, Joe did bring our Jelly Belly beer, but we do have a new uh, segment that we're adding to the show, and, and this is suggested by Joe. Sure, blame me. Again, what is we it? always blame Joe. So, I was at my house a couple of days ago, and my wife got a whole bunch of packages from Amazon and I went to go grab them just to bring them in just to be polite and she started yelling at me I was like whoa whoa what did I do she's like don't touch I was like whoa all right so she must have ordered something that was definitely not for me to see I don't know what it was still never don't know well but it's, it's like Laura with her plants when I try to water a plant or put it somewhere that it might get some decent light or <laughs> some shade or, or some air light that will burn the leaves she yells at me because yes. I, I moved a plant or watered a plant Mm -hmm. So similar to that. Yeah. But tonight we have what did Laura order? Uh oh. From Amazon. <laughs> and we have three packages that we're gonna open up while we are live. It could be something very simple. Okay. It, All of my Amazon packages have been delivered? Yes. They were delivered. They were they delivered they while we were in the green room. What? Well, that's the whole there's, point. We don't no, know. There's only one thing that's it's outstanding. It's not Amazon. Well, oh no, it is. It was for you. I, I know what they are. Okay. Well, we don't. So that's <laughs> that's the game. I mean, we know you, you know, know. I ordered it for you yesterday and showed uh, it to you. You spoiled the game. Well, I know one thing. There's I know one things. thing because it smelled like I knew what it was. I'm like, okay, I know smelled. what that is. <laughs> yes. So I know what that one is, and I'm sure as I open them, smelled. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, be like, I'm gonna be like, idea. oh yeah, I remember us talking about that, and you yeah. ordered it. But right now, off the top of my head, I don't remember. So we're all going to have this fun process. So Joe, so if she lets you open it, it's yeah. not a problem. But if she says no, it might be something well, intimate. She wouldn't say no, even I, if it I was know. intimate. This this smell thing, it took oh. me a second, but I know what it is. It's fine. We can open it all. Is that like fart in a jar or something? No, no, oh. no. It's very simple. I know what that one is, ah. but. Go ahead you and ask go, me to order it. Yes. 
So let's go ahead and grab. Santa brought. Let's grab this one. Oh my one. God! You already have them in. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't you just pull it on the? Because I have scissors, and that's a lot easier. All right. Oh, that's uh, my toothpick holder. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is for me, Joe. Gotta hold yeah. it up to the camera. It's all for you. Yeah. Hold it up to the camera. This is for my my toothpicks that. Uh, it's keeping little, the car. My little toothpick holder. He always asks me, "Do you got a toothpick in there?" I'm like, "Nope." So he can carry his own. Show yeah. it again. I was like, on me. It's like an mm-hmm. Altoids can. Yeah, but it's made to hold. Open it up and show inside. Is <laughs> it anything in there? Yeah, I mean it's a little holder. So. Okay. Okay. And it has a little mirror. So if you have anything in the front oh. of your teeth. Yeah. Got a little It'll mirror, show in there. You. yeah. A little mirror. Um, you can keep your makeup. In so it. we're gonna we're gonna display this. What did you pay for this cute little item? Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Okay. All right, Joe. What's next? Put a link, and then we can start like getting comps or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. Now this one's the one. As soon as I put it in my hand, I knew what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Totally know what that is. Um, this one. It's already open. We could. I know because I. I this is before we had the plan to open things on the show. Oh my god! So you were now, just opening my packages? Yes. <laughs> Now, this one, we could, you know, this is what you can smuggle 10 pounds of weed, you know, just put it in the gain box. Yep. So. He I, said, we need dryer sheets. And I, yeah, they'll be here tomorrow. And I'm not, you know, I just said dryer sheets. I'm not brand specific when it comes to that. I am price per sheet. I went through every one and that was the most per, for okay. your dollar. Okay. Yeah. Joe, what's next? Probably another small one because it should be the last thing that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's see what this now one we is. we got to do this every week. Well, that means I have to keep ordering. Do I have a stipend? Well, not <laughs> only that. We and, have when, to, and when she says no, don't open that. We know it's something in there. Well, then we also have to wait till <laughs> Tuesdays to wait, you know, to open things. Great. Oh, now these are the actual, <laughs> these are the toothpicks. Yeah. <laughs> see, I forgot. They're all for him. Okay. <laughs> all for him. Yeah, no, I can't order weird shit on Amazon because I use my sister's account. So I don't want to be ordering like weird shit that. By weird, she means like. Because then my sister would already know it, and I'm like, I don't feel like explaining that. Now, however, I do search weird shit, so then it messes with like her algorithm. So uh-huh. that's always fun, but I don't order anything on there that's weird. So by weird, you just, you just add like stuff to her cart and just leave it. No, there. you can you can <laughs> literally just search it, and then it'll like add suggestions on like your homepage when you log in, like finish searching for blah blah blah, and so yeah, it's fun. <laughs> by weird she means sex toys and panties or something oh there's crazy shit on amazon mm-hmm. oh yeah like you yeah, will whatever. find the weirdest stuff on there of course yep all right so all the packages are all the stores. packages were well i mean dryer sheets aren't really for me they're a well, household I, item i but. have not used a dryer sheet since your cousin posted that video of her cat or no it wasn't a video it was a story on her facebook about her cat eating a dryer sheet and she didn't know about it they thought we were gonna have to rush him to the animal hospital because he was so sick well, then all of a sudden he has a little dryer sheet hanging out of his butt, and she literally pulled the whole thing out of his butt. <laughs> Ever since then. Megan or did that, or she saw no, a video? Misa. The, bu- the butt Mel- sheet. Mike and Melissa. Oh. Yeah. Good. Okay. Ever bet- since then. Nope. He must have had a really clean colon after that. No. It was smelt, a smelt great, though. Smelt great. Maybe that's what <laughs> I need. Nice and fresh. Maybe that's what I need to do, start eating dryer sheets. I'm surprised you don't use dryer sheets, Laura, for the, I, for the I garden. I used to. I used to, and then I heard, saw that story. I was like, "No more." No, for your garden. Nope, because it keeps away like pest, pests and stuff because of this, the scented. Yeah, but then they'd be in the yard for the, and I really don't have like a lot in the yard. Most of my so, plants are wait, indoors. I mean, oh, hold on, some, hold like, on. You always bitch about pests in the fucking flowers. What are you talking about? Yeah, always. I always bitch about plants. In, yes, pests. If they're in there, I bitch about so them. So Joe's saying you can use the dryer sheets to keep pests away from... Right. You're but saying if bugs? If they're a place where a dog or a cat can get them, I'm not going to put them there. Okay. What? A stray dog's going to come up and eat a dryer sheet out of our, our plant bed? Well, it doesn't have to be stray because well, you have four of your own. They're right. never if outside. If it's a they're stray not gonna... dog, it would be in the front or the side yard, and then we would have dryer sheets just <clears throat> in the yard for the neighbors to be like, what the fuck? They got dryer sheets in their garden well, for? Because it keeps yeah. away the bugs. Here's the thing. The cat didn't die, right? No. Okay, so. But I would have rushed him to the emergency vet and spent a lot of money for him and be like, we just need to pull this out of his butthole. <laughs> okay. You would have got content for the show. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. all we care about anymore, Joe. Yep. Content no. for the Joe. It's the reason content why. Content for the Joe. Is that <laughs> the what you The Joe said? show. <laughs> 
So Joe gave me these um, little packets. What are they, Joe? Like little sweet and low packets put in my water? Crystal light. Crystal light. And I literally just tried one, my first one. And um, it's little, literally little, been around for 900 years. I know, but I mean. Literally? Literally. Literally. Not literally. literally. Um, they're a little, t- this one's a little tart. I, I, heard, guess. I heard Robin Hood used to use them too. Mm-hmm. Does I guess you can just add as much as you want. So as you start using them, you can just kind of sprinkle yeah, a little I mean, less. The lemonades are quite intense. My wife drinks them every day. It's too lemony for me. Like mm-hmm. it's too tart for me. You order like 10 lemons with your teas. Yeah, yeah, yes, but that's unsweet tea. Unsweet tea, a little bit of lemon is good for flavoring. Mm. But lemonade is very, very tart, especially if you have the full packet. Full so packet. If you can, you can not put in if some if you don't want. But the iced teas, like the lemon iced tea, the peach iced tea, and the raspberry, mm-hmm. I drink it every day. Okay. So, but lemonade, I can only have once in a while. It's just too tart for me. All right. So we're live on Facebook tonight, which is not really? our huge. Are we live on YouTube as well? No. Oh. We are not live on YouTube. Oh. We are only live on Facebook. Joe's fan base is going to be so disappointed. Well, yeah. we are going to upload this show to YouTube. So it will be on YouTube, but we are live on Facebook tonight. Um, did you do the intro at all? Not yet. I mean, we can late. we can wait, Joe. We're we, late on the intro. We can. I mean, we had Jason Stallworth music. I mean, yep. we can we can do the intro at any moment. It could he pop in. Add it in before uploading it. I can blew it in there. Blew it in there. But all of our so, YouTube, but, all the, but can you see who's if we get a comment on here? Can you see through Facebook like we can on YouTube? Who's going to comment? I don't know. If I have to turn it this way. Yeah, I have to turn it this way. Oh. Is that Johanna? Can, can you, go, Johanna on, can you go on YouTube? What's up, Johanna? And tell them, hey, go on Facebook. You'd assume you would have uh, done that. Well, most of our two viewers are also on Facebook. so you know. We've had as many as like six to eight. I know. We've had a lot. I think our highest was like 30. And we had a new unknown. We did have it. We week. did. Did we and find out who it is? Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, without further ado. No further dudes. No more dudes? Yeah. Um, let's do our intro. Hang on one second. Let me find intro. it. You know, I can never find it. The show intro. And now, from the CapsFlorida.com studios in Riverview, Florida, it's the Drinking with Drew show. Plumber's butt crack looks like boobs. All right, there we go. That was the show intro, Joe. Yay. All right. So I posted a video this week, and Laura volunteered technically after I asked her to do this. I because had a 24-hour mulling over period. You did. So she bought a dress. Nice dress. It's a, it's a very nice dress. But I happened to be outside filling up some water because we always do fish tank water fills with the fish and i'm always out there with five gallon buckets filling water and we have a mop bucket out there because we have the three wieners and we have to mop the floors at least once a day do you rub your wiener on the floor i do sometimes per doctor's orders joe (laughs) um so she brings she walks out and she's wearing this blue dress and the mop is sitting right in front of me and she goes how do you like this dress i said it's nice, but it kind of looks like the mop. So now it's not like the Monica Lewinsky blue dress, right? It could be. Okay. I don't know. Just making sure. I mean, I. Do you remember what the Monica Lewinsky dress looks like? I, I feel like it's got to be in like the museum or something. I, I don't know. <laughs> so here's is, the. Isn't it in the uh, Smithsonian? Here's the video. <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> it's right next to Archie Bunker's chair. All right. Got it. Am Start I there? Oh, why? Yeah, she, you, there he is. Okay, hang on. Don't hit that play button because you're going to start the next video. 
Okay. Got to wait for it to just restart. All right, hang what on. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jeez, there I'm you go. Try, I'm trying to. Uh, that's Jason. Hang on. Said it was great, but it looked like our mop. You be the judge. What do you think, Joe? She doesn't look happy. Well, I said I molded so over. I didn't say I was happy. Dress. She asked me how it looked. I yep. said it was great, but it looked like our mop. Get you rid- be the judge. Get rid of the closed captioning. We know how to listen. Th- that's YouTube. All right. So, I mean, it's a nice mop. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice dress. All right. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just an accessory. Yeah. Like it, you know, you has to match your shoes, has to match your purse, has to match your mop. No. Yeah, no. No. She didn't get as many likes as you riding the tractor, though. I mean, true. I told him he just needs to put the term pajama Joe, either hashtag or somewhere in every video, because that's apparently what gets the likes. We, we post a, views. I post a video of Joe mowing the yard. It gets 14,000 likes and views. 14,000. And I'm like, okay. I, I put I have like 31 views. I put Laura on there with cleavage and all these other videos. Literally censored by YouTube. Censored. Not censored. Not even just. No, it's censored because there's cleavage. jacket. Yeah. I'm surprised because there's some stuff on YouTube. That right. Is, it's crazy. I mean, I found some stuff this week that I was really interested in. And I'm sure. It's worth sharing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring it on the show? No, I can't. I don't know. I don't want to get you demonetized on Facebook. I appreciate it. You have, but if you have time, go and search Transparent Try On. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Transparent Try On. Okay. So it's... uh. It's ladies purchasing outfits that are transparent or mm. see-through, and they stand there and they try it on, and it has a little disclaimer. This is for fashion, education, non-sexual related. We love and those little- You can little... pretty much see right through the whole the, outfit. The lie. You could see yeah. right through the whole outfit, and they just stand there and they talk about the outfit and how it feels and how it's cued. And, yeah, yeah. It, it works and for a couple It's perfectly on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it's, and it's not even like- you know, you have to be 21 or over to, to view this video or anything like that. Thank God. You know? Okay. Well, strippers have to be over the age of 18 now in Florida, so. So now they got an extra three years to practice before they get on stage. Right. Is, is, is this going to be like the like basketball, like there's a D League? Um, what is it, the G League now? Once again, I have no idea. It, well, used, it used to be the called the D League was like the development league for NBA, but then I think Gatorade kind of bought it out and they made it the G League. Sounds right. So here's the thing, though. I'm sure they can strip in clubs that aren't full nude, which a lot of clubs in. Well, like, if they're full nude, they can't have alcohol. So right. a lot of them will just. So isn't that just as bad? What? Isn't that? Wouldn't that be just as bad because there's no, alcohol I mean, involved? Well, but. And they're not even can, allowed to be in a bar at, at 19. You can't drink. It depends. I mean, you can't. You can have. Even, a, you can be a be server. Yeah. You can be a server. You just can't drink. Yeah. Like, okay. You can be a you bartender. Have be, you have to be eighteen to serve beer. Yeah. I think you have to be. Yeah. I think. Can you pour a beer or can you only serve? No, it? because remember the girl at at. Um, she wasn't eighteen. She couldn't bring it to our table. When she turned eighteen, she could bring it to the table. Can they make mixed drinks at eighteen though? Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if they can pour when they're. I'm assuming they can. Any bartenders out there? Chime in. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they can pour. I just don't think they can. I know they can serve it. Obviously, they can't. I don't think they can pour it. Transparent try-on. Transparent (laughs) try-on. All right, Joe. So (laughs) open up the uh, the Jelly Belly draft. We're going to try this. And I had a lot of people comment. I posted a photo of it before the show on my Facebook page. And I had some curious people um, questioning. Oh, that's not good that it's a sticker cover. Why is it like that? Well, you'll see. Oh, they're jelly beans. <laughs> Are they really jelly beans? They're beer flavored jelly beans. Yeah. See. Oh. Now take them out. Take them out of the package. Is this is this your loophole? Is there really beer in that though, or is this just you trying to get beer in your system? Hey, let's let Laura do this. She's oh. asking a lot of questions. I know. Hang on. Let's let Laura do. This. Why do I have to do it? Because you're asking a lot of questions. So. So I'll let you do it. I just need something to read. Here, take, take, take. Put yourself on the camera. Yeah, okay. Hold on. And Ingredients, they, they, sugar, tapioca, syrup. <laughs> Move the sticker. We don't need the ingredients. I'm making sure I mean, no alcohol. Read the rest of the label. 
She I'm assumes. Not doing sexified. She, oh, you're fine. It's oh just... shit! I just dropped <laughs> them all over my lap. He's he's opened the peanuts on the airplane in the. And he told me not to eat a chip in the studio. Beer flavored jelly beans. Hmm. Turn the can around. It says it right there. Alcohol free. There yeah. we go. Perfect. She thinks I'm going to die because I have a sip of alcohol. I'm on antibiotics. Isn't it? Like hey, on the I've top? heard of terrible side effects. It's on the top of the can, right? Like on the top of the back of it? Right here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a fan of jelly beans, but they're good. But. Well, you got to do the bubble sounds. Uh, you eat it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Forgot about that. I mean, we got, we can't have you, you know, left out every week. Yeah. You know? Hang on. Where do you find these? I, I went to a brewery. I'm just kidding. Oh, these are gross. <laughs> no way. You got to put the camera on yourself while you're eating them. Nope. Make okay. sure my dresses he's not getting my faces. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Now it's all stuck in my teeth. You want those toothpicks. <laughs> right. Now, we don't have to have, uh, we don't have to put them back in the little, we can just dump them in here, right? Yeah. yeah. So, Go ahead, Joe. Try it. Oh, you got to do bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles. Oh, bubbles. bubbles. Hang on. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We can do, uh, maybe have something else. I like it. It's almost like a root beer type thing. Mm-hmm. They're good. I was going to say, is that a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to be a horse eating, a horse eating, but no. Okay. I like it. Well, t- it next works. week we'll have a new beer because Garby should be back. Maybe we can get Jason or Brad to come out. We'll have more of a party next week. So, what's your verdict? I mean, they're good. I'm just not a jelly bean fan. Like, I'm literally just, I can't tell you the last time I had a jelly bean. Well, beer flavored. Not, I mean, I, I, I'm not no. tasting the beer, but. Okay. Or do I you? Am. Do you? I am. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I taste sugar. I taste the syrup. I taste so like, one yes, one no, and one okay. I mean, I just mm. don't taste the beer. Like if you're you're drinking a Bud Light, yeah. Does it? I mean, to me, it wouldn't resemble a Bud Light. No, but it's no. got it's got more of a tastes more like a caramel like a shit type craft flavor. Beer. <laughs> okay. Right. Whatever. Um, fuck y'all. I like it. <laughs> I, I mean, but you like little candies like that. Yeah. Try not to eat them too much, Joe, because you know you're gonna. You're not gonna have wings. All we're gonna hear on the on the on the background is you eating. My diabetes. Yes. The, the diabetes. Now I have to mop and clean the floors later because we're gonna have peanut butter, uh, jelly bean shit all over the place. Don't drop them. Thank you. All right. So, Joe. Yep. Let's go back 20 years when you were single. How many uh, years have you been you've been married? I've been married 11. But I was been with my wife for twenty years. Okay. Have you heard of post load syndrome? Post load syndrome. Yeah, this is something that women get um, from men. Okay, so Laura, have you heard of post load syndrome? No, I have not. But I, a million things are running through my head just based on the name alone, and none of them seem good or they just sound terrifying. Okay, this is something I'm sure every woman gets. Um, obviously, if you deal with men, but you know, you're going to get this. Joe, uh, post load syndrome. It's the shit men tell women before they get laid, so they pump themselves up to sound and look better in front of women. Yeah. Post load. Post load. Okay, syndrome. so. And then Post like load syndrome, not preload syndrome. And then afterwards, they kind of hear the truth, or yeah, yeah. I'm kind of confused. Like Laura is, what's the post about it? Yeah. Well, that's just what I heard. It's called. I don't know. I mean, I would agree with you. It should be preload, but it's post load because it's you know. So like it's front like all the bullshit's like front loaded. Right. So it's like not like bust a load. It's it's like it's, pre- <laughs> I don't get. Where the names are coming from. Well, okay. it's the it's what it, it, it's you're telling women stuff to pump yourself up yeah, to lost, make you we look lost good. A lot of good men. So out there. it would be preload syndrome, whatever you call it. I mean, if you want to change the name, Laura, you can. I mean, I'm not going to disagree with you. I just feel like there's more there. There's more to the 
explanation or the definition of the term. And maybe maybe we're it's just the, not getting it all. Maybe it's the finding out afterwards that everything was bullshit. Maybe. Right. Okay. I can I can understand that. So what's the question? Have you done it? Like what have you like? Think back to high school. Have you seen me? There's really there's really no embellishment there. Right, well, I'm, you're talking now, Joe. I'm talking about yeah. in high school, Joe, college, Joe. You know those single years of Joe. You know when you'd meet a woman. You know what would you say or tell them that was kind of like, hey, I'm going to pump myself up. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, I can't really remember, like coming up with a bunch of lies. I think. Well, I don't want to be lies per se. Yeah, Just like, you know, you're embellishing a little bit or fluffing your resume. Like you were, you were uh, a, a math major. Yep. Okay. Math. Computers. And you dated other women in the math industry. Uh, math studies. Two or, two or three. Yeah. Did you ever like say I, I'm I'm pre-trig or I'm po- like what's a good no. trigonometry? No. Pre-trig. <laughs> I don't no. know. I, don't, yeah. I know nothing about math. Nope. Like, Do they even like, have trig in college? I think it's only in like high school. Like it's like what would you tell <laughs> what, like I can do conations and vertical tats or what like i don't know what's a term what's a terminology i don't even know what that is what's none a terminology that, none of that <laughs> i mean eigenvectors and okay and orthogonal did... matrices and stuff okay you know? so here's my thing did you throw some i mean that wasn't really good foreplay but <laughs> did you throw some terminology out there to impress women not really come on like you got like a girl with a ged and you're throwing out some like trigonometry. Well, I was in college at the time. So well, that doesn't mean were, you were dating. You could no, all the people I was around were in the same school. <laughs> He's saying his social circles were his classmates. Well, not I, I lived on classmates. campus. Like, like you know, I didn't leave the campus. I didn't have a car. <laughs> okay. Well, I I, I still tell Laura post load. You know, we're still going through that process. So. That's why I'm still here. She's she's still Haven't waiting it out yet. <laughs> She's waiting for it to be delivered. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Laura, have you heard any obvious post load conversations in your time where you're like, this guy's totally bullshitting me, but oh, I'm going to let story. it fly. You ready for this story? It didn't lead to them getting any because my purse was stolen that night, so it totally ruined the mood. And he wasn't a fireman. No. <laughs> no. Um, but uh, yeah, I was at a bar in uh, my mid 20s, probably like 24. 425 and uh, it was like a Wednesday it was like me and a friend we were just going out and um, this guy cute guy British accent said he was a pediatrician he was a he was a pediatric surgeon or something like that and I'm like oh my god you give me the accent and you care about little baby's health and blah 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 he just likes to touch children all about this guy so uh, that night my purse got stolen, but thankfully I was at a bar where I knew all of the employees and everything, and we found it. It was down to guys' shorts. Oh, gross. <laughs> I, I definitely bleached that bag. Um, but anywho, I go to work the next day, and I'm like totally telling my friend, oh, my God, this guy was so hot. He was British. He was a pediatric surgeon, and I show the picture. She starts laughing. She goes, um, that's my friend's husband, and he's a server. I literally <laughs> died laughing. We were on the, like, we were rolling on the floor laughing. We were like, that's the best thing ever. So, yes. Man, did, she, did she tell her friend, did, though? I don't know if she told her friend or not, but I had the photo up because we were, like, taking selfies on the, on my phone. But, um, yeah, that was, that's a that was hilarious. Perfect example. So good. See, I don't have very good memory, so if I were to lie, I wouldn't be able to remember the lies to different people. However, the British accent was not fake. She did say that part was real. Hmm. I mean, he was still a server, though. Where was he from? British accent. But I mean, that people. I don't ask that. Sure, it was British and not Australian. Yeah, it was British. Down under. Hmm. Okay. I probably still have the photo somewhere. I'm like Joe. I don't have a good memory, so I'm not good at keeping track. That's why I can't lie. Things like that. No, it's... I wouldn't remember what I told each person. Yeah. But if your goal is to just <clears throat> hit it and quit it, you really doesn't matter what you tell them is a lie because you don't plan on seeing them afterwards. Yeah, we lost a lot of good men out there. <laughs> would you say you would you say you're completely full of shit or just fifty percent? <laughs> so Lisa Sparks, nine hundred and nineteen men in eight hours. Yeah. Can we boot a bang this? Um She's a porn star, so everybody has banged her. Right. Yes, but our for our show standards. We could have you seen the picture yet or no? I've seen like the thumbnail, so it's like 
half of her face to like right below our boobs. I will tell you this. She's wearing a dress that kind of looks like Laura's dress. Shut your fucking face. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to boot this one. Are you sure? Yeah. Hang on. I'm going to try to find it. I mean, it's a hot dog down a hallway at this point. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> boot her. Mm. Just like looks alone, I would boot her. There she is. <clears throat> um, yeah. It's a little shorter, a little more revealing. But, yeah, you have a dress like that, I no, think. No, that's Laura. the Monica Lewinsky dress. Is it? <laughs> okay. I like those kind of dresses, though, honestly. I mean, they're nice little summer, you know, flower, what do they call them? Little sun. Sun dresses, yeah. Yeah. Can it be a sun dress if it's blue? Why wouldn't it? Why can't it be? He calls know, everything most... that's booby and short a sun dress. Most of them are lighter colored because they're kind of like summer. The second picture is definitely a better photo of her. Yeah. Is that like her and her prime? Uh, I don't know. This is uh, doesn't really give a date October on that 24. photo. Scroll down. Scroll right there. Uh, the well, that in, was when the record. Right. So she set the world record in 2004. This is a 20 year old story. Oh, good job. Well, we don't care. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it still a record. It's still a record. So it still holds. What if it's been beat? That's just we don't know that it was from 20 years ago. I don't think it's been beat. 919 men? No. And I think it was... 30 seconds per chump. No. <laughs> Probably because they prepared ahead of time. They just went in at the end, finished, and walked out. I didn't even think they finished. No. I mean, they have to. Otherwise, it doesn't count, right? Sure it does. Penetration uh, is all that matters. Okay, so yeah. you have sex with. Didn't so say anyone finished. you line them up. They come in, stick it <laughs> in, move over. Unintended. Come in, stick it in, move it over. Yes. Yeah. Like, like, you, like you just... Two pumps and move. Two pumps and move. Right. Now, if you puff, puff, pass. if you did the math, it's thirty seconds, but that's no break in between. So they really but only eight did hours, like fifteen seconds, because it would have to do the sh shuffling of know. the dicks. I, I, I don't know. That doesn't really count. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't think it counts. I'm not getting any of those notifications. By the way, what do you need? Oh, to great! Notify? My old boss is watching. <laughs> What's going on? Right. Um, so let's talk more embarrassing lore stories. Yeah, let's do that. He probably has most embarrassing stories about me. Who knows? I was working <laughs> with him for 13 years. Call in. And that includes my prime 20s. When you were 13? No. Oh. So how do they like vote who gets to start or who gets to finish? Because if you're doing that 919... I am I mean, out of this conversation you right now. Probably, I do not no. need... <laughs> you'd probably be like... <laughs> Wanting to be like the first couple guys, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you're saying no one's finishing, so I mean, it's it doesn't probably cleaner than it, than it could be. But it's I mean, it's dry yeah. as a desert. You gotta just like I mean, how we, do you know you just wash it? There's gotta be some In sort between. of like you know they all have to lube up or whatever. You know they all have condoms on or something. It's a I porn, assume. Joe. I don't know. No, but I mean, if it's some sort you of you of all people, I thought you would have watched this. Yeah. I, when you send the article, I thought it was like, oh, just last week, not like 20 years ago. Well, I'm sure it's still somewhere. <laughs> this is when you were in your 20s, Joe, and you would have been in using this type of material. So like the previous... Use, wait, using this material? What do you mean? Yeah. Are you using yeah. the material. Yeah. I'm trying to wait for that notification that certain somebody's not watching anymore. Cause, oh, hush. <laughs> just kidding. Um, so the the previous record Did was... set transparent try on? <laughs> the previous record, Joe, was 759 men in a day. I was busy that day. Where were you? <laughs> um, it says... How about you find an article that's been in the last 10 years? But the record still nope. stands. I maybe, mean, it's maybe, still... Maybe they don't publish it anymore because they don't want people to try to try to beat it. I mean, that's... No the, the Guinness Bro Book, Book of World Records actually stopped publishing certain things. Because they don't want to encourage people to try to beat certain th records because they're too dangerous. Mm. But then at this point, you don't even need the Guinness World Book of Records because social media will make you viral. So it's not even... I mean, I'm need... sure she's viral anyway, but... Yeah. Right. But what I'm saying is that you can say, I'm going to beat this record and I'm going to record it and I'm going to put it online and still officially beat the record, just not by Guinness's standards since they're not, you know, taking new applications. And they're not, they have to observe it happen. Right. God, that would be 
it uh 40 I wonder if I wonder if the last one was the Guinness. So is this a preload if you tell if you tell her you can go No, with, I think the you can do it like 700 times in a night and then you get to Is a, she just in like You get stirrups? to two and you're done? Is she in stirrups? She's just know. like Well, that just there's a whole bunch of questions. We're going to talk about, you know, that in a minute, but uh, oh, we are. If, if okay. she if she had so if it was just a world record thing, she could have stopped at 760 because the previous record was 659. Yeah. So she wanted to like make this record stick. Well, I wonder if the it was the time, how many you can get within that eight hours, as opposed to I just want to beat it by one guy. So it was probably the last record was fill up what the whole seven eight hours, seven eight something within eight hours. So she just wanted to fill up the the whole time too. Well, the previous Did she record stop and have lunch in between. Doubtful. The previous record just says a day, men in a day. So. I don't know. This one says eight hours. I don't know. I don't know. So the other thing that Joe was talking about. I was? Yeah. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Well, you were talking about uh, stirrups. No, that Laura did. Okay. So. I said stirrups. But, you you but sent an. We're, we're the same person, apparently. Yeah. Right. You sent an article. I did. Um, about. The namesake of Victorian era oh. and the grandfather of the recently recently departed uh, Queen Elizabeth II. Yep. Um, he had a chair. Sex chair. A sex chair. From like the 1700s. Right. And it says he was also a freak nasty that our boy can, was can nicknamed the, Edward the Caresser. Huh? Can we show this to our viewers? Yeah, why not? Because there's some interesting, scroll. there's some interesting. But it's all stick figures. I know. That's what I'm saying. Why well, can't we they, show it? That's what I'm saying. They're funny. Yeah. I want, I want people to see that. Well, we're about to show it. Yeah. <clears throat> so this chair, I mean, how old was it, Joe? It's got to be. Well, I think he was like the 1800s, right? Right. So the man's sex, sex life was scandalous, to say the least. And if that's not enough, horny history for you, then allow me to introduce you to the part of Edward's legacy that recently entranced nearly 18 million viewers when a video of one of his prized possessions went viral and it's his so he's chair the, so he's the great great grandfather of of the current king of england right so we're yeah. looking at this chair and it's got a lot of little gimmicks on it okay you got padded on the top and it's padded on the bottom i'm not gonna lie when i first read the article I looked at the photo, not realizing that if you scroll down further, it gave you like stick figure animation. Uh huh. But I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, obviously those are like stirrups mm -hmm, right there. But I'm like, I don't like. I I was trying to figure out where does the second person go? Right, and where are those like knee pads or those foot pads? Well, just I was trying to figure it all out in my mind. He liked to have two women at once, so this is for three people. Right. And that's what makes it even more confusing because it doesn't look like it would even fit three people. Right, well, but the little stick figure drawings, in my opinion, helps are out. a little confusing. Yeah, right, but some I of them don't, don't pan out well. I could have came up with a better combination of stick figures for it. Too, right. But, you know, okay, I'm not a very well, good artist, so. All right, so let's go through them real quick. Um, one on the top, one on the bottom. <laughs> this is the first one. Right, so that one is, are you getting a blowjob or are you sticking it in? Well, I think, Confusing. He, I think he's sticking it in the top, but then he's getting blown from the bottom. How You don't have two dicks, Joe. No, but like, obviously, like, you it's take Facebook. it out. It's you Facebook. It we got we got we got we got a little, one. we got to be a little PG-13, okay? What? So just remember, it's Facebook. It's not YouTube. Oh, my God. This is the wrong so channel back, for just, Facebook. Just back up a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Like, that, those that stirrups. Means, if you didn't have the bottom, that top would make sense. Like, but the stirrup is a little short, if you ask me. Like, right. your feet would be, like, tucked in well, your cheeks. I and think, I'm talking about your butt kind, not your face kind. I think they kind of like you bend your knees or something. I Yeah, I, I think that's a bad... Yeah. Okay, let's go wrong. to picture number two. Okay. Like, uh, I guess, but... I mean, it's doable, but you're doing double work. No, but how are... <laughs> you, she's flat... Like, how are you... I don't see how... I mean, maybe... I think if, maybe she's waiting her turn. Like, I don't think it's going to be simultaneous. A I delay, think... A delay in wait table? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and, um, I mean, I guess if his knees are on the ground, he could, like, at that angle. Okay. And then he could be giving pleasure to the top lady. Now, this one... I, this one didn't make sense. Yeah, I don't she get this no one at sense. all. <laughs> oh, wait. I get it. It's just, it's, he's it's, green. It's, yes. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah he's, he's, green, he's green on all of them. Okay, I, didn't, I don't pay attention to the colors. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't see color in life. <laughs> I don't. So black, white, green. Here's the purple. question, and this kind of gets a little morbid here. Is he Technicolor? Now that I have polarized glasses, though. Uh, yes. Uh, so, are these? How big is this table? Like, how big? Is, how big does it measure? It's not that. It can't be that big. I don't know. I mean, it's not made for little people, is it? Possibly. Because maybe they had a midget fetish. Because <laughs> this is I like mean, this literally was England in the 1800s. You know? Anything's possible. Yeah. Like you know. So that's my that's my curiosity there, because those there. those stirrups look a little short. Um, now this one again, like what's the purple doing? What is she, she's got to be waiting, Wait, waiting your turn. Right. Unless she's just giving a little hand dealio. No, again, it's literally like the first one. Yeah. But she's down, like she's just turned around on the bottom. Like, so I don't make I, the one on the bottom doesn't make sense. Yep. Okay. Um, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to, I, I, I just thought it was funny that the stick figures that they drew for it. Yeah. I mean, it just, to me. I think they're embellishing a little bit, maybe a little, doing a little preloading. Preloading. <laughs> Postloading, sorry. I uh, thought but preloading was just basically so you didn't get buffering. That's in the, back in our day we had dial up, so every time you tried to look at porn, you had the most exciting thing you had was buffering. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because you knew something was coming soon. Well, that's when we're live and people tell me it's buffering. That means we have internet issues. So yeah, still happens. Apparently, the uh, talk about the sex chair lost all of our viewers. That's okay. Maybe we, They'll we, be uh, back. Maybe we got banned and we don't even know it yet. Could be. We got flagged. We have been flagged. And apparently, um, it's no longer tracking our dialogue or it's just not on my phone. Oh, I don't know. Probably because I said dick and fuck. Okay. We're Did getting you? booted. <laughs> didn't, didn't you also say asshole? Probably. So Laura had a um uh oh. Yeah, she said if she's going to take somebody out, she's gonna mail them a rattlesnake. It was a genius idea. This story was amazing. Yeah. So So smart. Laura sent me the article. Mm -hmm. Where is it at? Now this is not related to the one that mailed their cat to Amazon, right? No. Okay. Mm -mm. He has so many tabs open he can't even find. Close that one out. We already talked about that one. I know. Now, this one's still circling. There it is. Mm -hmm. So, someone mailed a live rattlesnake to a California man. He thinks it was attempted murder. (laughs) A Southern California truck driver received an unexpected package with a live rattlesnake inside, leading him to believe it was attempted murder. The man called 911 after he picked up a package at the 29 Palms Post Office and made the discovery last week. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office Department told USA Today. And the Drinking with Drew show. Um, so exclusive, uh, exclusive, right here. So um, it was he was picking up the package with a friend. He was driving. The friend opens the package and pretty much throws the box with the snake at him <laughs> because they were startled. And they had while to pull over. Yeah, while they were driving, he had to pull over, and then they threw the box out, and they you know looked inside. Somebody had not only put a rattlesnake in a box and mailed it to him. <clears throat> They also stuffed the box with cotton so that it would muffle the sound of the rattle. We got a community standards notice, I think. Did we really? I don't know. Says I understand. Um, We didn't give any hate speech, and we didn't... uh, Bully or harass, but apparently cussing is that. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe somebody reported us. Ooh. Uh, But anyways, um, yeah, so Laura, it was mailed in cotton balls. Cotton balls. So my cotton, question cotton was balls. like, how long would a snake survive being male? Well, that one was in the mail. I think it's for two weeks. It seems like a long time. No, snakes can survive like months after they've yeah. eaten. As long as they get big meals, they can go. Like I remember my brother had a snake. They told him only feed it like once a month. Yeah. Give it like a good size mouse. snake, mouse, or yeah, mouse, and then it would be fine for like a yeah. month. So you feed it, mm-hmm. then you mail it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You put fragile in put the arrows on to make sure they don't flip it a million times doesn't matter well they don't mind you're gonna you see those fedex guys throwing packages left mm-hmm. and right it might matter like here's Sephora. the thing too though they were pretty smart if they knew it was going to be in the mail for like two weeks they would know that the snake would then be hungry and it'd probably be more prone to like attack yeah but snakes open but that's hungry is eating attacking is being scared and frightened and the you guy know, shouldn't complain dip. he probably got like a thousand dollar worth of a snake 
could sell that to a pet store or whatever. They're not worth that much. A good snake is... It's a rattlesnake. I mean... For He's... milking purposes. I went on the wrong camera. They can milk them for the venom. Make yeah. anti-venom. Anti-venom. Yep. Who was trying to kill them, though? So they said that it was mailed from another California um, post office, but the return address was some Florida address. So they have to go in and, like, do more, you know, investigating. Obviously, you're not going to put your own return address if you're going right. to send something to somebody. No. <clears throat> Probably a scorned ex. Something Laura would do. Look out. I don't know. So. Well, she shouldn't do it to you because it's going to end up in the same house. <laughs> well, when she moves into your place she across the street, she's just going to hand deliver it. Oh. I would never risk the dog's life to try and kill you with a snake. <laughs> she's got another method. All worked out. Mm -hmm. So, porn actor attacked by co-stars golf club wielding ex-boyfriend. What's with all this porn stuff? Well, there are. This is our our. Uh, Let's see what pops up because yeah, it just, searches. It's, well, it's show. It's stuff that you guys send me half of it. So, I mean, I'm just adding to the list here. I sent you Murder Snake, and everything else has been porn. <laughs> Joe, you sent me <laughs> Joe. Joe sent me the other half. So. Jealousy may be a green-eyed monster, but it, <laughs> but it could only leave you black and blue. A man, snake. Yes, a man's uh, a man upset his girlfriend, uh, made a pornographic film, attacked her scene partner with a golf club after trying to run him over. Man, through that jealous, although uh, that jealous ex is the one who ended up in the hospital. Okay, James Gosselin, 26, is accused of attacking a pornographic actor identified in legal documents only as Hamilton. By ramming the actor's motorcycle twice with his vehicle. Did anybody catch the like the terms they were using in this article? Ramming. Ramming. Right. Then striking him with a golf club. And then, uh, yeah. So, Gosselin was jealous because Hamilton had made an adult film with his ex-girlfriend, Gia, the Times explained. While they were together or after? Uh, the couple up. had broken up in February. So, yeah, I mean, get over it. Hamilton reportedly knew... At least she got paid for the plow, and it wasn't that she was just out trying to, you know, forget you by getting under somebody else. Or 10 in a week. Right. Ten in a week. So, Hamilton reportedly 20, knew... 20 in 10 days? Yes. Re Hamilton reportedly knew Gosselin when his attacker... Was his attacker, because after his motorcycle was rammed, he looked back to see Gosselin try and fail to put on a ski mask <laughs> before <laughs> exiting his vehicle, welding a golf club. Uh, too many masks going on right now. So, I mean, that's, you know, you get COVID, you put a mask on, you go rob a bank, you're all good. So, just rob a bank while you have COVID. Uh, Gosselin only actually struck Hamilton once, causing bruising, though he swung and missed several times, the warrant says. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, if you're doing porn, you can't have jealousy in your life. Right? Right, but here's the thing. The guy... Runs a guy over on his motorcycle with his car, tries to beat him with a club, but the actor, Hamilton, tackles the guy to the ground and beats him up, breaking his orbital bone and something else. So he beat the crap out of this guy after being knocked over by a car on his motorcycle. Lisa has joined the chat. Hey, Lisa, we have not, we're not doing booter bangs tonight. Sorry. We have too All many, pe too many people out. So it's just me, Joe and Laura and, uh, Garby will be back next week. We'll throw in some booter bangs next week. So I apologize. Show her the beer. Oh, we did have Jelly Belly Draft, which is just jelly beans flavored like flavored. beer. Allegedly. Beer. I didn't taste yeah. any beer. They taste like beer to me. Now, if they were liquored flavor, I'd probably taste the liquor. But beer, I just don't taste. The, I can't taste the beer. I mean, it's subtle. Yeah. I don't, I don't taste it, Joe. Uh, so, the Wheel of Fortune. Franco made a good comment. What? Well, look at your comments. I can't. They're not. He said, I wonder who took a pounding better, the ex-boyfriend or the porn star. Well, obviously the porn star. The porn star. Up in the hospital. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure she's doing round two right now as we speak. Uh, uh, Lisa, to answer your question, uh, no, the jelly beans were disgusting. But Joe likes them. Joe likes them. Joe likes little things like that. He's got nerds over there. He's got jelly beans. He's got... Little mini jawbreakers. Jawbreakers. 
If you listen carefully and not so carefully, you can hear him sucking in the background. The ASMR is Joe eating candy. Yeah. We're going to get <laughs> so many uh, Spotify listeners after this, uh, our, our live <laughs> feed tonight. Uh, so who watched the um, Wheel of Fortune? Did we actually see that live? No. What about I heard it? about it the next day on the radio. What do we... <sighs> You didn't hear about the Joe. You were, I think, you sent the article too. Oh, but after we had oh, talked that about one, it already, okay, that yeah. One, yeah, yeah. I want to play it real quick. Tavares, right in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Blake. This is the best. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> it. I think. Yeah. That's I mean, how and does he? To every man, that is the same answer. Exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> she said it was the best. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, it doesn't even add, it doesn't even add up. I mean, the first word doesn't have the right number. I know. Eyes, that's but... what I don't understand. Like he's totally convinced that he well, got. They this. say that when you're on the camera, oh, yeah. like you totally freeze up. People can't pronounce words right, and then they get the puzzle wrong. So I'm sure it's the same thing where he would just saw butt and he was like right in the butt and he wasn't even thinking there's not enough letters in right yeah all right so. show this thing again <laughs> it is funny though Tavares right in the butt <laughs> <laughs> now and the little old black lady goes what right right that's what I want to watch look at her <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> and only then does he realize what he said right right here's, here's the thing they film these things like like four months in advance, right? And they know, like, like even with Jeopardy, they do. They film it months in advance, and then they go back and they like, we need to refilm you asking this question, or we need, we need to refilm the answer. So they could have easily, Help, like, hey, let's out. another puzzle. Let's like, let's start that one over again, or right. let's, oh, but... let's just clip that out and let's just skip him and go right to the next person that vote that. Right. But this has because he doesn't lose anything by guessing. But that's content gold. I know, but they gold. They could have easily edited that out if Mm-mm. they wanted to. Hell no. no. Way. They that, could have. That is gold. And they Matt Sajak yeah. is like, I'm going out with a bang. Right in the butt. <laughs> Everybody was talking about this. Imagine if that was his last episode. I know. Oh. I wonder if there's one better. They probably have it like lined up. They're like, oh my God, it's going to be so good. I want to know what the guy does for a living. Like I didn't see it and I haven't had time to research it, but like if he's like some Bring him on the show. Doctor, engineer, you know, something and be like, Hey man, let's he talk about it. Probably sells this. electronics. Right in the butt. He looks like he works at the store in 40-Year-Old Virgin. Yeah. <laughs> he does. That's very true. All right. See if he wants to come on the show. I'll call him, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> hundreds paid to be robbed by phony holdup crews to gain favorable immigration status. Does this make any sense? I've heard of people faking robberies to like look good in front of a date. I mean, maybe that's front loading or what was it, preloading? Post loading. Post loading. <laughs> yes. Po- Lisa missed post loading conversation, yeah. but uh, yeah, so that's post loading. This is kind of uh, <clears throat> similar in a way, I guess. I, I mean, this know. is like anchor babies, like trying to find a scam so you could become, like, get status to stay here. Well, then there was that actor who faked his robbery saying that it was a, what, a no, the um, a hate a gay hate crime or something actor. like that. And no, are you thinking who's the, the actor? Are you thinking the uh, the swimmer? Smollett, Jesse Smollett. Oh, Jesse Smollett. Just yeah. Well, yeah. What, and he had he hired the two brothers to like attack him, and they they, they his whole scam came to light, and he paid yeah. them, and yeah. Yeah. I didn't hear about that one, but I, didn't I was hear... thinking the um the swimmer when he at the Olympics. Oh. No, the Jesse Smollett was like he he claimed it was two Trump supporters wearing MAGA hats that. Right. Beat him up when it was 16 degrees below and he was walking to get a Subway sandwich. It was ridiculous. He right. got tried and convicted. He, he was convicted of, you know, it's all about, about, all about yeah. the details because he, yeah. he was going for the Subway sandwich. Oh, yeah. And he kept it up for months. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he still claims he's innocent. Right. I was going to say, he, <laughs> he still has not admitted that it was all a scam, even though the brothers who beat him up have admitted he was paid. Right. And it was a whole scheme thing. To so, like, bring, like, I guess put him in a better light as an actor because he wasn't getting good. I don't know. So this one, it says, federal prosecutors on Friday announced charges against five people in connection with a Chicago-based scheme that staged armed robberies so the the purported victims could apply for U.S. immigration visas reserved for legitimate crime victims. 
So CWB Chicago has been working behind the scenes on the story. I guess that's their media outlet up there, but withheld publication until charges were announced at the request of our sources. Um, well, here's my question. Were the robberies in the U.S. or was it in their home countries? Oh, here. So that doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. If you're robbed here, why would you want to stay here? No, because... They're fake. They're not being robbed. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if somebody were coming out, because I was people, robbed in this country. They I get robbed in their own stuff. country. They're robbed in their own country. They don't care if they're robbed here. No, there's... I get that, but what I'm saying is that shouldn't matter. If you're robbed here, you're robbed here. Whatever. You're already in the country. Like, if you're... But they're not legal. No, if, if you watch should not be, I'm saying it shouldn't be a reason to give them immigration well, status of because they were robbed in this country. Like, I agree so, with you. Laura, if, and I know you've watched enough Law & Order episodes. Of course. But there's always like, oh, the, you know, the person didn't want to report it because they were afraid of being deported because they're not legal. Right. So then they encourage them, you have to come forward. You have to testify. We can help keep you here as a material witness. And we can help you get, you know, asylum or you know, legal status, we can help you with that mm, to keep you here saying. so that you can testify. All right, so, so here's... I mean, it's, it's been alluded to several times in Law & Order episodes. Yeah. But so here's, I didn't know if that was, like, a legit policy. Like you I get, wasn't thinking they were already illegal. I was thinking they were here, like, short-term, already in the process, and then that was, like, their golden ticket in. No. So it says, officials believe hundreds of people, including some who have traveled from out of town, posed as customers in dozens of businesses across Chicago and elsewhere, all hoping to win favorable immigration status by becoming victims of prearranged armed robberies. During a staged holdup in Bucktown last year, one of the robbers accidentally fired their gun, severely injuring a liquor store clerk, according to one source. During, the caper, uh, during that caper alone, five customers were robbed. The staged robbery crew operated professionally, we were told that they used stolen cars and sometimes outfitted them with plates taken from other cars. For example, uh, they had second get they had a second getaway car on standby. There were obvious signs of advanced planning and know how. Um, so I mean, this is a job opening if anyone wants to join. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, they got it worked out. So cops started to get suspicious. Why would four or five seasoned arm robbers? go through all of that trouble for robberies that netted them virtually no cash. Most victims had only a few dollars with them and the stores generally lost less than a hundred dollars. Why? Were, nobody has cash anymore. Everything's, everything's you, credit cards. You'd were be surprised. involved? Yeah, they had to be. Had to be. Why were robbery victims going to stores to buy something without taking enough cash or a credit card? Yet, despite that low return on their investment, the robbers kept working two or three nights a week or at least two years, uh, for at least two years. That's a lot so, of shit. Yeah. Anywho. Um, they had a full-time secretary or whatever just to, like, plan and, like, line all these things up because you can't hit the same place twice. You can't right. be doing the same neighborhood. Well, then you've got to tell, so, like... So they have to have, like, 40 different liquor stores and store uh, and and gas stations that are in on it. Yeah. Like, lined up. And then you have to like, go tell the 20 immigrants, go stand at the Wawa yeah, or sure go, they, they go might, stand at the subway. Yeah, they must have had, like, a whole staff of people just to coordinate all this stuff. Dude, immigrants, they're, first off, if they're paying, like, to come over here, like, they're paying a coyote to come over, to get them over here, and then when they get here, they're paying these people to help them with their immigration status, like, they're getting scammed a lot. I mean, yeah. they're, you know, getting fucked over a bit, but, I mean, they're paying the money, so, I don't know. I, I just, I, I with, like Laura, I don't really agree that this should help boost their status with getting a permanent visa or immigration status. I don't know why it would. It's kind of weird. And I feel like the way Joe was explaining it, those victims have been here in the country for like years, living under the radar, working, being like, you know, good citizens as much as they could be. But these sound like people are coming over and within like a few days this robbery is happening and they're immediately like applying for it. So it sounds like it's a quick turnaround, not these people have been in the country for five, 10, 15 years. I, I bet they're try they're going to try to spin it as in these are the people that the guy from Texas bust up to Chicago. Mm. Okay. 
Joe, have you uh, ever babysitted? Babysat. Babysat. Babysitted. Babysited. Babysitting. Mm. No? I mean, I didn't get paid for it, but I mean. That was my first career. I've watched a kid for a couple hours, you know. Toddler? Yeah. They run away. They run like, I've never babysat like a toddler. Never like someone's like, oh, come to my house and watch my kid while I go out. Like it wasn't like a formal thing like that, but. Okay. I sure as hell did. So, Laura. You. If you're babysitting a toddler, mm-hmm. what methods do you use to keep them calm, to keep them like not going crazy? What's the what's the go to? Well, well, so in my situation, there was never so many that I couldn't handle them. But I feel like the story that you're telling is a daycare. So there's going to be like tons of them. When I was babysitting, I would just run the kids ragged, run them ragged, let them fall asleep. But in this situation, I feel like there was just so many and not enough workers. So uh, they what? tried other means, and I think it's kind of genius. I think they're just like lazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I didn't read. I read enough of the article to see like what they were doing, but I didn't read what the you know teacher to kid ratio was to know if I thought it was just one controlled. kid. I didn't know if it was like a normal thing they were doing with more than one kid. But so show the picture. This. <laughs> leg weights. It's so funny, God. They're putting leg weights on the it's toddlers. So and that's dangerous to keep too. them from slow. Like, but it keeps from them fr- keeps them from running it fast, Joe. Those leg muscles. They're gonna yes. have little ham hock legs. It's gonna yeah. be great. Yeah, but for a kid, start on the track team. For a kid like you know, Forrest Gump that has like a back problem or a leg problem. Yes, you need certain things to straighten out your legs. But for a normal kid, if you just start putting like things like that, it'll fuck up their legs bad. Maybe. I mean, we don't know if that's a one Since pound, Joe's a half never pound. Baby sat in his life. It has nothing to do with. <laughs> it's just understanding basic developmental anatomy. But wouldn't you know if like, you're babysitting a kid if he has deficiencies or some issue? Yeah. So you don't put leg weights on a normal kid. Why? I mean, because because it'll cause them to have issues. You think? Yes. I don't know. That's what they're for. They're, 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 they're like people wear them to go running. Yeah, adults that are trying to like train and work a specific muscle. Not if you're a growing child. Like the the funny thing is, <laughs> you don't this, have the strength. For this that. picture it says not the, not actual, the actual kid, kid yeah. in question, yeah. which what? means they got this that's, from somebody that's, else that's doing it. No, that was just the so generic that, like, like like stock image. But right. that's yeah. that somebody's somebody doing else it. Did it. So, moms like my mom used to give me whiskey, you know, and to that settle me a, down. Yeah, it um, a lot. coffee wouldn't like that. Honestly, she. <laughs> would give me coffee to put me to sleep occasionally. Never, you know, did anything to give me any type of caffeine jolt. But That's why you stopped growing in eighth grade. Probably. That was the weed. <laughs> um, but. It's like a midget. It's coffee and cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, so it says, my child, who is two, attends a licensed daycare program full time. When I went to pick him up early on Friday, he had ankle weights attached to him. My son has two no medical old. diagnosis or known neurodivergence. Uh, he's never exhibited aggression. Uh, quite the opposite. He's shy and fairly antisocial. He is being treated by developmental therapist and a speech therapist. Uh, this is a long article, but yeah. still, if you have, like I've seen, okay, you have the little ropes that parents put around, like their backpack. The and leashes. They can, the leashes, yeah. Um, they have, Various methods to keep their kids from running around and being nuts. I don't know, Joe. I don't, I, I'm failing to see the huge problem with this. That's why I will never let you need my kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be around your billion, billion swimmers, Joe. <laughs> Not those kids either, but I mean. <clears throat> I'm sure there are some parents who've done this, and that's how they, this daycare probably got, you know, clued in on it. I think this is a problem with people having more than two kids. Well, yeah, I like, never have two, never have more than no, kids. You, you have arms, have more, right? More <laughs> arms or couple? Like, no, I would never have more than you know. If I were married with kids, we each get one. Yeah, or I if I have to do it myself, like you said, two arms. This now, is why people start tethering their kids and whatever because they can't control them. But if you only have a small number well, of children, no, they can't control them because you're not allowed to hit them anymore. Oh, I would be, go pick your well, switch. Well, yeah, my dad used a switch. My I mom used a switch. I Jesus out but, of my But you're also switch. 40 years old. I mean. Lisa says. 39. Uh, you, I mean him. Lisa he says. He was 50. Lisa, okay, he's Lisa, almost 50. Lisa said they could have used duct tape, which, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
So what if they only put like if they put one a weight on one leg? I could see that being that's more a problem. problem because now but you're running them in circles. But still on a two year old, that's like you the kid's developing. Like that's that's okay. dangerous. Well, how, what if the kid gets heavy, a dislocated like knee because of the weight or the heavy. weights? Really? How heavy were the weights? I don't. I don't think it matters. I like, think it does. Like their body can't handle the extra weight. Like you put on a five pound weight. You're going to be fucking exhausted just to get to okay, the front door. Okay, so your mom... What if this kid was like, a little linebacker and he already had, like... <laughs> he was well, already 20 pounds. Like, we don't know. Like, like that, like that kid little kid that was, like, the professional weightlifter or something? Yes. Exactly. Okay. He used to lift the couch up? Yes. <laughs> what, what if what if you had, like, a, a shoemaker bought shoes for toddlers that were heavy to keep them a little slowed down? Is that a problem? I don't think it's to keep them slowed down. I think it's some sort of, like, physical development, like, issue. I don't think they're going to... I would love to have a doctor, you know, give me right. some insight okay, here. Let's, be, call into the show, please. And let's, mm-hmm. let's, let's discuss this. Casey's busy. She has her kids and they rescued a raccoon today. Is she a doctor? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she went to med school. She's close. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. She's, she's a smart little cookie. I so, always turn to her for medical stuff. I just don't... If it's... Obviously, Can Joe, if it's, if it's a pound of, of a, a weight, okay, I could see that being an issue on a two or three year old. But it's just a half, like, quarter, like, not even... There's nothing that's Like, that look light. at these it's weights. probably, like, three pounds. That's I mean, pro- you can't go by the picture. You can't go by that picture. It wasn't the right one. No. Well, but still. But still, I mean, you can't... Like, there's some... It'll fuck up the Those look like they, would, they look like they would go on a, a wrist of something. Like, those oh, have those to be a little weights. tiny. They could be. <clears throat> those could, right, and those are much lighter than the arm weights. Oh, or yeah. than the leg you're, weights. You're just trying to justify why it's okay. That's why you uh, said I mean, the ankles, because they're wrist weights. Well, you're so not going to put a three-pound weight on each leg, Joe. Yeah, I get, you know, that would be cruel. Those but are probably wrist weights, yeah. That if you're a using, like, a, a, a few ounce, I don't know how, what's a, a 50 ounce? Probably a pound. Pound. I mean, even half, like not a even, pound? half a pound. I don't know. Do you know how many ounces are in a pound? I just want to say. No. 16. How much? 16? Okay. My 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 days of dealing weed are over. That's a, that's a math math uh, question there for you. Is it? I got it. Right. So Joe, have you ever thought about incre- increasing your girth? Um, there's some inside the. How do we? How are we? Like, why aren't all of these like conversations bulked together? Like the, all of these. I did, earlier, you were saying I had too many porn topics. Now yeah, I'm jumping you, around. You mad? You're always mad. I'm not, I'm just saying, you could have like we're jumping it all around. Together and then, you he know. asks me because I'm the only other guy in the room. He doesn't. He's not going to ask you this well, question. No, I'm going to. But yet I'm the, the one who sent the article to I the group. I have the biggest dick in this room, so yeah. Let's really? increase some girth. Let's see what you got, well, ladies and gents. Let's see what you're working with there. This is very similar to women <laughs> using Botox. Is men going now to do penis filler? It's called the penis filler boom. Yep. And people going, men going to get uh, girth. Added to their wiener. And this doctor. Men do that in prison too. I mean, personally, I wouldn't want this guy anywhere near my wiener. But he is. Oh, we're going to show his picture? Yeah. He is. Uh, he looks like he's 14. Yeah. He's, he's finished med school they, and. Oh, they God. call him oh, Injector no. Chris. He looks like he's been injected. It's Christopher Bustamante. Does it say how old he is? Um, I don't think so. But you could have Buddha banged him, right? <laughs> uh, Joe, was this thirty-two? He's thirty-two. Was this from the United States? The cut is probably not. Because I'm remember. curious if they're, you know, uh, doing this in the United States. I'm sure they are, but you want to sign up or what? No, you want to get, it, you wanna get have... him to come on the show and do a live. Look, I am very, injection? I am very happy being schmedium. I'm uh, just saying when Garby's here, you know. I mean, we can send Garby to do it, um, but we can send him. Have him do it here on the show. We need content. We'll see. I mean, it's apparently an outpatient outpatient procedure. We could just have him do. This guy spent twenty five grand, twenty five grand, to go add some girth a couple of times. Wait, so is it like Botox, where it eventually wears off and you have yes. to go back? Yeah, you have and to go back. So, grand? so for the how lip- long does it last? He said for the summer. Yeah, for it lasts like three or four months. But you, it's you, very painful as shit. Too. You know how like they do lip fillers for women, right? And you can get either Botox put in or they got collagen put in. The other thing is hyaluronic acid, which I didn't even know what it is. I just think it's it funny because it's the wrinkles and all the lotions. It's on it's, it's on all the commercials, so I just think it's funny to say it every yeah. time the commercial comes on. 
And now they're like, oh, well, let's take hyaluronic acid and stick it into dick. Anything acid, I feel like you shouldn't be injecting it. Hyaluronic. He said this doctor has made $2.2 million in just his second year open yep. from that procedure. People want bigger dicks. But girth is like wider. It's not longer. Yes, but that's the only part that matters. I mean, Laura, can we Laura? have a, a judge here? Length or, or width? What's be, What's more important? Don't ask me to judge that. No, because... just what's more important, length or width? Um, it... If you it had really a, depends. I mean, you if can't, you had a choice to add to one dimension or the other, which would you prefer to add? You can't give me a pencil dick, and you can't give me a crushed can. Like okay. it, it, it's <laughs> got to be a good ratio okay. between the two. So but if, it, let's say you had it a. Depends if if it's a pencil dick. Yes, add girth to it. But if it's still gonna be a stubby little thing, there's there's no helping it. Let's let's say you got medium medium. Would you prefer to add length or would you prefer to add width? She's gonna go girth. Probably. Okay. So. But again. It's got to, like, you can't go so far outside of the ratio that then it just turns into a not a so cone. Coke can. Like, it just, <laughs> it, you still got to keep the ratio right. Not a traffic cone? No. <laughs> well. Ah, Lisa, I, I agree with Laura. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean. I mean, it's not an I, ideal question. We just, you know, girth is Just alone, I would preferred. not, I just would not spend money on it. Like I mean, there are other ways to grand. there are other ways to please a lady. One Swedish made penis enlarger pump. <laughs> That's not my bag, baby. Uh, One warranty card for a Swedish made penis enlarger pump. <laughs> I was waiting for you to do the awesome powers. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's honestly, first off. Honestly, it's not my bag. <laughs> I don't, even if it was a grand, I wouldn't do it. Well, For one. You you wouldn't try it once no. if it was only like a reasonable I mean, it, it, amount. It, it wears no. off. So even if like it doesn't work for you, it kind of like, it's a one shot deal. It's not like yeah. you, you're stuck with it permanently. It's just. I mean, they have the, they have the actual per, the permanent like. Well, first off. Because like, Botox, you could have a bad reaction where if you go to get like, you know, to smooth out your wrinkles in your forehead. You could cause your eyebrow to either do this number or this number. Yeah. So there's all these types of side effects that could go wrong with Botox. So I wonder if could you get like a yeah. bubble dick on the side where it's not like yeah, I'm sure. uniform. It's just, you know, you got this weird alien head poking out. Like, I want to know the scary stories. I'm sure you can get the same side effects that you could with anything that you inject into your skin. You could end up with a bubble sticking out the side. You could end up with a droopiness over here, you know. You, you lose sensation because, you know, it hit a nerve or something, you know. Well, he's got a really... Got some sort of Bell's the, Ballsy going on. The doctor has to put <laughs> Bell's that... Bell's Ballsy? <laughs> but here's the thing. The doctor really has to, like, grip onto it and do some weird shit. So is that the part that, that bothers you because um, the guy has to grab it Well, it says, it says... I mean, what if it was a female to do the injection for no, you? No, because... The guy looks like a Barbie doll, so maybe you got a, a lot of guys like it. Who knows? I mean... So... It says, as Bustamante injects five vials first into the sides of the shaft, it's then six, six more. more around the glands, if you're picturing a mushroom as the head <laughs> of your penis, that's the glands. And he is injecting around the base rim of the dome. He sweeps. The dome. The, listen to this. He sweeps the needle slightly from side to side then uses his thumb to massage out any filler lumps, sculpting through what he calls transitional zones, like a potter smoothing an edge of clay. That is way, way, way too much to be going on down there. Oh. So does it have to be like... Is it because it, it was a be, guy? Like the, it, He probably has to be like... Because then he needs to know how much to put in. He says, I really do think that there is an artistry to it, to yeah. making it look good. Aesthetically pleasing, no lumps, smooth, consistent, yeah. looks natural, and feels natural, an artist. all and those things. Hold on, can anybody use it? What about the growers, not showers? Like, what happens when they're not growing? And they're, well, they go back into uh, a little shell. One, once you like, get a little tickle, it, it's growing. No, but what I'm saying <laughs> yeah, possibly. is, possibly, he puts it in when it's like you know, no, a flagpole, and then and then it shrinks. What walk, happens? To right, it? like what happens? Like where does it go if the, you're just maybe it just all becomes like. Uh, like a scarf. 
Well, maybe I will say this. Since <laughs> maybe I, just makes your balls bigger. Since I've been taking Flomax, <laughs> I tell you, Joe, I'm I'm kind of a shower right now. <laughs> it's helped me out. It's uh, I like it. Uh, I recommend. <laughs> Increasing your urine stream. Huh? You said I recommend, and I well, finished it. Increasing your urine. It stream. does. It has, but yeah. I mean, I'm surprised that I hadn't heard about Flomax before because I mean, it's it's really. I mean, I. I don't see why more men aren't taking it, even beyond. Because even when I talked about it to somebody, they're like, "Men, you don't know that." Talk about a they're like, "You know that strain. can help you with your sex life too, because it can help you like." last longer be larger like it can help you with certain yeah, but you things. need a place to put it though that's true i'm still working on that <laughs> that doesn't help when that's still situation. working on that joe and it doesn't help when you're shooting out you know something that <laughs> something that smells like shit <laughs> well i mean i've actually not had that issue in a while joe so my medication is working but yeah um that's close the shit highway yes <laughs> very good very true all right guys we're gonna go have some wings yeah uh, it's an hour and 20 minutes we've been on, so Ooh. we're going to go to Glory Days Bar and Grill in Riverview, Florida. It's $10, all you can eat, even though it's National Hamburger Day. I may have oh. a um, They do is have there, the wings special tonight. today? I, I don't no, know. Monday we'll find out. When, special. They might have one just for it's National Maybe. Hamburger Day. You never know. So thanks for hanging out. We did this little experiment on Facebook tonight. We'll probably be back on YouTube next week. But either way, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe. I'm really, you know, trying to hit that 500 mark. Watch we're our almost shorts. there. Watch our shorts, not what we're wearing, but the YouTube shorts. And find you see, us on. You didn't go to Taco Tuesday on Tuesday. It's too busy. We do Mexican Monday. Yeah, Mexican Monday is much better than Taco Tuesday. Um, but yeah, find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Humble. Humble Social. <laughs> Download the Humble Social app. It's the next big thing, I promise. Uh, we'll see you next week again on YouTube. And we're going to do the outro. All right, everybody. This has been another episode of the Drinking with Drew show. Stay tuned for more uploads, more shows. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Humble Social all the socials our live shows are tuesday at 6 30 eastern standard time feel free to check us out live you can call into the show and be a part of it see you soon